What's the difference and why would we do 24 volts versus 12 volts? Well, a couple things. In the RV, everything uh, that is on the DC side runs off of 12 volts. So naturally, we make a 12 volt battery to run, well, your 12 volt items, your fans, your lights, um, and all of your uh, circuit panels run off of 12 volts. With that, if we wanted to run our 120 volt items, we'd have to add an inverter. Now the inverter is gonna take the battery power and step it up to 120 volts. The difference between 12 volts and 120 volts is 10, right? Take 12 will go into 120 10 times. So it takes 10 times the amperage out of this battery in order to get to 120 volts, right? It's gonna step up that voltage by 10. It's gonna draw from this battery 10 times the amount of amperage from there. So on a small system, because I get this all the time, when do I maybe go to 24 volts? Because at 24 volts, it's only drawing at five times as much because 24 will go into 120 five times. If it's just a single inverter system that you're getting, typically what we would say is 3000 watts or 2400 watts. If you're running one air conditioner or maybe just the refrigerator or something like that, stick with your 12 volts, okay? Perfectly fine to run that. If you're going to want to run multiple air conditioners, have a larger system. In other words, you like to glamp even off grid, right? Multiple air conditioners or an air conditioner and the microwave or even three air conditioners where you're using two inverters. That's where we would recommend going over to the 24 volt version. Now, is it wrong if you have two inverters and you want to go with 12 volts? Absolutely not. Is it wrong if you only have one inverter and you want to go 24 volts? Absolutely not. So what's the difference between the two? I will say efficiency and form factor. If you go with a 24 volt inverter, it's gonna be a little bit smaller. People will say, you know, smaller wire. That's gonna add or take away a little bit of weight um, that you're actually carrying around because you're going with smaller wire. Form factor is roughly the same size. I mean, the 24 volt is roughly twice as big as this, but your inverter's a little bit smaller, your wires are a little bit smaller, and it runs more efficient. What am I saying again? Well, it takes power to change power. And it's gonna take, on the 12 volt um, inverters, they may run 90% 90, 90 efficient. In other words, 90% of what it pulls out, it can convert. The other 10% is actually used in the process. If you go with the 24 volt variety, the efficiency is a little bit higher. Okay, now don't quote me on this, but it may be 93, 94% more uh, efficient. What does that mean? Well, I can get more out of the battery because I'm at 24 volts already instead of at 12. So I can run things a little bit longer. So there's a lot of people that will go ahead and jump over to 24 volts. But of course, I think you're looking at the question that's staring you at the face. Well, wait a minute, my RV still runs off of 12 volts. If I get a 24 volt system, how do I step that down to 12 volts? Right there. Right, there's another component you, you can get that actually takes the 24 volts and steps it down to 12 volts to run everything. Or what I typically recommend is leave your 12 volt battery in the RV. If, if weight and space um, is okay, leave that 12 volt system in there, go with the 24 volt system to run everything else. Let your 12 volts run the 12 volts and let your 24 volts run the RV, okay? Um, efficiency form factor and the 24 volt variety we actually have our own breaker on there. So it actually comes with a 200 amp breaker, um, takes up less space on the wall. You don't need to have a, an external breaker. It's already internal, does have the on off feature and it can be put in four different positions. Okay. Just like this battery, it can set in this position, this position, this position. Of course, the one thing we really don't want to do is ever set the battery with the post down. All the battery weight now is sitting on that BMS. We don't want to do that. And it's the same with the 24 volt. The great thing about the 24 volt is when you set it up, you can push it up against the wall and it doesn't take up that much space.